So now let's say that flux is changing. So maybe we have a power supply attached to our solenoid. We're going to uh, change the current so that the interior, the magnetic field, uh, or the magnetic field in the interior changes from 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4 tesla meters squared to 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4 tesla meters squared in a time of 0.1 seconds. Okay, so we're just reducing the magnitude of the magnetic field in a very short amount of time. What's the EMF induced in the outer ring? See if you can remember how we did this type of problem last time. The EMF in the outer ring. So again, think about definition of Faraday's law here. So, okay, answer number four, four times 10 to the minus three volts. We're just doing exactly what we did last time was what we, we're making a approximation that because the time is very short, relatively short, let's just say this derivative we can approximate as a discrete difference over of, in flux over a discrete difference in time. And uh, so it's like finding the average EMF over this short time period. Just find the change in flux, which is going to be 4 times 10, or 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4 tesla meters squared, minus 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4 tesla meters squared. We're given the fluxes here, not fields. So that difference is 4 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by 0.1 is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 volts, okay? So you get 4 millivolts induced in the outer, uh, outer ring. Pretty straightforward questions here. What about the direction? Can we get the direction? If the field just reduced, let's see if we can redraw this. From this point of view, we had magnetic field coming out towards us, and then the magnetic field kept the same direction but uh, just reduced in magnitude, so that is B final. Delta B is in, and it's a little hard to draw in perspective here, but delta B is pointing in. Negative DB dt is then pointing out, and then from the right-hand rule, we get would get a current, an electric field, a curly electric field, and therefore also a current induced in, uh, in this direction because negative DB dt is out. Okay? We've done that before, too. Questions? Yes. Yeah, that, well, in fact, forget the ring for just a second. Even if the ring wasn't here, because there is a changing magnetic field, you're going to get an electric field. And, it's, and it just from the symmetry of this thing, it's going to follow a sort of curly pattern around the uh, outside of this uh, the solenoid. Okay. Now we happen to put a, so that's ENC. Now you happen to put a ring there. If there's a ring, a metal ring, in the presence of this electric field, and well, the ring has mobile charges in it, and so that electric field can drive a current in the ring, and conventional current would flow in the same direction. Right? Uh, yeah, the voltage you would measure would be the same. The electric field, depending on the radius, electric field would be different because the EMF is the same. But if, remember what we, when we did this last time, this, this will boil down to ENC times 2 pi R, right? So if you have a bigger radius, uh, the field would necessarily go down, right, to get the same voltage, which kind of, which kind of makes sense because the farther away you get, the, the smaller the field should be. But the voltage around trip should be the same, or the EMF, I should say, round trip should be the same. Okay. Other questions?